What's up, guys? It's Larry. And I'm Mark. And we are the Mercs, Mercs for, for Money. Money. Now, Mark, I don't know why you got me doing this, man. You got me all locked up here, trolling toad. You tried to escape. Crackers. That's what yeah. happens. I mean, they're trying to scare me really bad, you know, especially with these Dark Magician cars and dragons. You know, we've got the best intro I know, right? ever. We, we're uh, definitely that, on it. Uh, Dave, Dave, Dave likes jealous. it. Yeah, Dave likes it. He's a very uh, smirking. But yeah, we got something real cool. We got the legendary dragon decks. We ha it has Legendary Dragon Decks of Atlantis, the Cyber Dragon Deck, and the Dimensional Dragons Deck. So we're going to crack that open today. Oh, yeah, I want to see what we get out of it. I've, I've never opened one of these before. Me either. But this also is... Which, which kind of like... is surprising, considering you've opened pretty much everything else we've ever shown. Right. I just... Man, it's new. I haven't had time to mess with it. Ooh. So we'll show off the... You want to show off the front of the box while I get these decks all ready to go? Yeah. Just show off how good it looks. Because it's a good collector's box. Like, they really are. They're good for storage. <laughs> oh, yeah. There we go. Whammy. Ugh. Oh, yeah. But, yeah, this is also, like, me wearing this ball and chain. Just a thing for Halloween. The Halloween's around the corner in a couple of weeks. And I'm excited about it. Halloween's my favorite holiday. What about you, Mark? My favorite holiday is probably Thanksgiving. Well, why would Thanksgiving? Because it's an excuse for my family to get together, act like idiots, and have a really good meal. I mean, that sounds like a good excuse to me. <laughs> well, that's the same reason for me and Halloween. I get to dress up like, you know, something ridiculous and act like an idiot in front of my wife. Hey, what are you going to be for Halloween? Uh, I'm thinking about being shaggy, like a millennial shaggy. Like from Shaggy and, or from Scooby Doo? From Scooby Doo? Yeah, my, my wife's gonna be a millennial Velma and our son's gonna be Scooby. It's gonna be a nice little family. That's gonna be interesting. Yeah, like I'm gonna have like a fake tattoo sleeves, I think maybe, you know. Oh, some really? Stuff like that. Like yeah. Some lip piercings. Never get off your phone? Yeah, never yeah. get off my phone. You it's, know how Shaggy. They're so like, yesterday. Right. <laughs> so we'll go ahead and show off uh, the rares here. We have a Dark Magician, the Dragon Knight. There's so many variants of the Dark Magician. There's This is the newest one. This is actually new, as far as I know. Uh, it's really cool. Uh, you know, that, like, you had Dark Magician Girl, the Dragon Knight. So this is essentially, like, the same fusion between him and Tamias. That's a lot better looking card than I expected to get yeah, out of this like, box. Yeah, like, it looks true. really cool. Yeah, because, you know, usually you, you think Dark Magician, you see the classic. Yeah. And it's it's a good looking card, don't get me wrong, but you've right. seen it so many times. It's oh, not yeah. really that bad. I like it when they actually, you know, like, add new cards to the Dark Magician cycle. And uh, we go on to our next card. We have Odd Eyes, Arc Pendulum Dragon. That card looks really sweet. Now, this card does look really sweet. It's fresh. Oh, yeah. It's, it's fresh to it, death. It's fresh. So, Odd Eyes, Arc Pendulum Dragon. And it's I want to call him Odd Eyes. Odd Eyes, I think it's just like they're running out of names at this point, maybe. <laughs> like, they have blue eyes, red eyes, you know. Oh, odd silver eyes. eyes. No, we can't tell what color he is. He's got Odd Eyes. Like, they're just odd. Maybe because they, their eyes aren't where they're supposed to be. I don't know. It's a dragon. I yeah, that's true. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to sit here and try to delve into the mind of a dragon. And now we have Cameritech Magfleet Dragon, which is a bunch of cyber dragons glued together by the looks of it. Like, this thing's like Star Wars meets cyber dragons. Cameritech? Yeah. Mega Fleet Dragon. It literally looks like if you took a Star Destroyer and, like, put some mechanical dragons on it. I'm, I want to see what these names look like written... In Japanese. We need to get some Japanese. Yeah, we need to get here. some product of Japanese. Because I've yeah. got a secret theory that number thirty-seven, Hope Harbinger, Titanic Galaxy. Yeah, is actually like two characters. Right. Like I'm, I'm sure like we mistran, like mis Konami mistranslated. They a lot. think so. Yeah. Yeah, it, it would probably be something cool like that. So we'll just skim through here and find some cool <laughs> rares that I think you know are great that we have reprints. So of. this is, so this is just a big uh, set of decks, huh? Yeah, it's three different decks, three different ready-to-play decks. So if you have three different, you know, you and two other buddies can get together and just swap out and play some cards. It'd be a really good thing. Good Christmas gift coming up. That'd be a great Christmas gift. That would. You're right. That'd be awesome for you and your buddies. Yeah. You could pretty much pitch in, each get a deck. Yeah, you could just all, start like, playing. You could play it like a tabletop game at that point. Like. Oh yeah. Good, it'd be good to have for those casual nights. So we got a dark magic circle as the next ray. Dark Magical Circle, like, this is card's iconic uh, in a lot of ways. Uh, it goes all the way back in the anime and all the way back, you know, to, like, the... I've seen it before. We actually yeah. have a background of that, don't we? Oh, yeah. They yeah, usually yeah. have a background a lot. Let's see. We'll go on to, uh, let's see if we find something good here. Oh, Clearwing Synchro Dragon. I think this is 
looking. This might be new art. I think I've seen this card before, but it might be new art. You're a red eyes guy, aren't you? I love red eyes. I know. I am it. definitely I can a tell red by eyes. By the look guy. on your face, you're a red eyes man. Joey Wheeler is my favorite character, man. Like we we, we talked about this. I can't I'm, help I'm it. I'm a fan of this synchro dragon, man. That thing's yeah. wicked. Yeah, that thing's sick. I love the. Like I said, I like the art, regardless if it is not you know just the same art. I still love it. I really do like that card. You know what's really surprising about these cards so far? What? They're all foil, mm -hmm. but they're not so foil that you can't see them. Like yeah, they're not ultimate cards. rare like, they're or not, secret rare. Foil. Yeah, they're not gonna. I like ultras for that reason. Themselves. I like you. I want to see art. Like you know, I get fooling's cool, but I like seeing art. That's why I wasn't a really a big fan of ghost rares, but I know some people are. But I mean, I like seeing the art. You see, I do. I love ghost rares because you throw them on this camera and they almost explode. Off yeah, the screen. I'm, man, I just I'm the I'm the one percenter, I guess, in that law because Dave's giving me that dirty look of like. Now, society I'm an idiot. has no hold on this outlaw. No, like I, I'm just a free free man. So we're going <laughs> to the next rare here. We have a Cyber Dragon Infinity. Cyber Dragon Infinity, like like I said, you just glue some Cyber Dragons together, like Zane did back in GX days, and uh, you know something will eventually will kill somebody, like. <laughs> I mean, it's got to right. Smash two dragons together, you get the infinity. You're right. I like oh, that's kind of. I mean, I mean, that's put, pretty cool. Yeah, like I love the. Don't get me wrong, I love this card, and I've, I've I actually played with this card a little bit back in the day when I played, <clears> and uh, it was a lot of fun. So that card's really sweet. But let's see if we can go for a couple more rares here before we yeah, sign keep, off. Yeah, keep on trucking, man. Let's see some more hollows. What's that one on the on the on your right? On my right, Apprentice Illusion Magician. She's like a dark magician girl, uh, Fetcher, I think. So, I could be wrong. You can special summon this card by discarding a, one card. If this card is normal summon, special summon, add one dark magician from your deck to your to your hand. Oh, so it's a dark magician summon. Yeah. So you can fetch dark magician yeah. cards. I mean, you might be able to get dark magician girls. I could be wrong, but I mean, I like it though. Jeez, I like. Man, I always like the how they use the magical circle in the background for all the dark magician like. Oh uh, yeah, cards. that that uh, that That's does add a lot classic. of. Uh, it adds a lot of coolness to it. I mean, it adds a lot of cool factor for sure. Yeah. And here's a good reprint uh, that a lot of players probably were asking for. was Eternal Soul. Eternal Soul is a really popular card, what I've heard. Uh, every Dark Magician <clears throat> in your monster zone is unaffected by your opponent's card effects. So, I mean, they can't die like by your opponent's card effects. So that's really good. And you can special summon one Dark Magician from your hand or graveyard and add one Dark Magician attack or thousand knives from your deck to your hand. So it's a fe it fetches for cards this, and everything. If this face-up card leaves the field, destroy all monsters you control. Yeah. I mean, you can get wrecked, but, I mean, if you don't, then... Jeez. It's, it's you know, it's it's got, it's the tablet. It's the tablet of the Dark Magician. Like, it's got a lot of flavor to it. Oh, it definitely does. Yeah. And uh, we have a Magician Navigation, which has Dark Magician and Dark Magician Girl on it. It's, it's always nice to see the whole family together. Yeah. Man, they have a Dark Magician baby now, too, I'm pretty sure. No, they like, don't. They have, like, a little no, baby they, version. Do they really? I don't know what it's called specifically, but I know it's a card. It's got, like, it's a baby Dark Magician girl, and I think she faces for a Dark How Magician. How happy are you? I mean, you know, you hit the family. It makes you happy. <laughs> yeah, that's true. It's like a little reunion. Yeah. So, uh, we'll show off this. Oh, I like this guy. Dark Rebellion XYZ Dragon. This is uh, one of the XYZ Dragons I really do care for. Uh, two level four monsters, and you can detach two materials from this card, and then target one face up monster your opponent controls attack becomes half and its uh, current attack, and it does this card gains the lost attack. So, say your opponent plays a 3000 power dude, you can make it a 1500 and add 1500 to your guy, making 4000 and just wreck their life points. I really do like this card. Hmm. That's, that's over my head when it comes to Yu Gi Oh! But obviously, I'm, that's my problem. I have the same problem with Yu Gi Oh! Magic, Pokemon, I, the strategy. I get how the games are played, yeah. but when it comes to like, okay, like really technical stuff, nope. You mean you're going to have to hang out more, Mark. I'll show but you how to I'm, I'm more of a, let's get as many monsters in play as we can than attack with everything turn you got. Turn dudes sideways. That's a, that's a legitimate strategy in Magic. You have to do that. <laughs> turn dudes the, sideways. Turn yeah, I dude love that. Sideways. that. I've had a lot of decks called turn dudes sideways. Uh, but anyway, Cyber Repair Plant. Uh, one Cyber Dragon in your graveyard, you can activate this effect. If you have three or more Cyber Dragons in your graveyard <clears throat> at activation, you can activate both effects and resolve in sequence. You can only activate one Cyber Repair Plant per turn. You can add one Light Machine Monster from your deck to your hand or target one Light Monster in your graveyard, shuffle that target into your deck. So it's a good recursion card. I like it. So guys, we again, we thank you for joining us. That way I can get this ball and chain off here and we can <laughs> all go home. 
And, uh, like, uh, this has been fun. Oh yeah, I mean, I, I definitely try to enjoy the you know the torture that I've been going through. <laughs> but uh, again, guys, just kidding around. I'm not in danger. Don't worry. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I we, promise we're not actually holding him hostage. No, but we we definitely will be here every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. That's you know, like one way I'm kind of always trapped here, but you know, I get to go home eventually. But uh, <laughs> we will see you guys next time.